<laughs> I'm dying here. Thank you! I just sneezed all over you. I'm so so sorry, whoever you are. Oh man, look at my table. Nasty. Ah, oh, okay, let's pop through this thing before I pass out on you guys. Cold sweat, ladies and gentlemen. Cold sweat. Still sniffling from the other set. If you haven't seen the other set, should have been the one before. I don't know, I go all out of orders for these videos, but the other one was I did, did with the Notre Dame. Anyway, I haven't changed clothes or anything. We're just gonna jump right into this because I feel like it. I wanted to get it for you guys. So here it is, ladies and gentlemen. Well, first of all, I gotta say, welcome back to Bring Me Up Scotty, and I'm Scotty. So this is Singbo's Dreamer Rooms, XB01402, A, B, C, D, E, N, F. Pieces vary from about 349 pieces to the most being 383 pieces. These are like a set of mini rooms. You can see they're all kind of flipped backwards. So I'm gonna do this one by one for you guys. Really cool idea, really cool concept, and I, I was hoping that they would do more, and they did. It's available on BreakMeUpScotty.com. Now, if you haven't seen Home Furnishing from Zingbo, check it out, I highly suggest it. It's actually pretty cool. Now that series, Home Furnishing, is more like homes, like kitchen, bathroom. This one's like total imagination. It's really, really cool. There's got a lot of stuff inside. Some of it may be a little bit too much, but here we go. I don't know which one I'm gonna pick. Which one, dear? Do you pick for me? Eh, I would pick the least favorite one of yours first, so we can go from worst to best. Yeah, let's do that, Scotty. Dear, you kind of sound sick too. All right, so this is room C. Not the worst, I'm just saying, like compared to the other ones, this one's kind of like a little bit crazy. I do like it. I don't know how to describe it, look inside. Yeah, it's a music room. I think they crammed a little bit too much in here. The decoration along the top is almost like an amusement park thing going on. I think they could have toned that down a little bit and it's a little bit flashy, but hey, if you like flashy, lots of little stars and the studs and I love the piano. I think the piano is actually really cool. It's like one of the better pianos that I've actually seen. Really interesting, they used the aircon vents for keys. Nice touch. And the drum kit is a little bit tight inside. The minifigure that's in there right now can't be flushed down. His head hits the wall. He's kind of loose there. There's a DJ booth here. N absolutely nothing wrong with the DJ booth and the speaker. I think it's really cool. But I think one of these items could have been like taken away. It would have been enough. There's actually quite a lot of stuff going on in here. You got saxophone there hanging on the wall. You got a red guitar. Oh, they're all prints. No stickers, how about that? The drum is good, the drum is okay. It's just, a, it's too flushed against the wall. The minifigure really cannot sit in there. That's kind of a shame. I'm just gonna repeat names of the minifigures. If you've been in my video several times, congratulations to you. That's your reward. All right, it's on the DJ booth. We got Puppet Guy. What kind of music are you spinning there? Electro sound? On the drums, we got Tyler. There you are, Tyler, man. Play the drums. Don't buy so many sets. Ha ha. There you go. Okay, let's move on to the next room. Out of order. Oh yeah, this one. This one is room B. B for boy, look at that. Again, I'm not saying that these are really bad. These are actually really, really cool. I just can't pick which one's the worst one. The set is so creative. We just, I'm basically going from like clustered to less clustered. This is a mad scientist room. Look at all those bottles. And those are all prints, by the way. You got like biohazard stuff along the top. Got this cool little crystal thing here. The countertop has got so much stuff going on. Look at the computer screen. It's finally something different. You got beakers and radiation icons on there. Next to the clock, you got these two printed tiles. I've never seen those before. Are those from our other friends? Have those been shown before? And you got like this TV screen thing here on the top. A lot of printed stuff here. These are actually pretty cool. I like these. That is a huge microscope machine. That is so cool. Okay, and in the center here, we got the countertop. Another computer on there, screen. A couple more beakers, I guess. Some tools. And you got this freaky looking minifigure. He's kind of freaked out. He's just like, uh, kind of like, very similar, right? Now this is the funniest thing. On the bottom here, you got a little robot. It looks kind of like Wally, but she reminds me of Johnny number five. Short circuit fans, where are you guys at? Yeah. And below the clock, by the way, there's like another table there with potions and you got like a case with something inside of it. And you know, that's your imagination. What are they doing? Hmm, very cool. There's a lot of stuff going on in here. A little bit crowned, but a little bit more space than the other one. Let me figure, all right, so. Ultimate Villager, there you are freaking out with the potion, looking at the screen. And the girl, Super Xander's mom. There you are, looking through the microscope. Cool. And you know, the printing on these guys are actually pretty okay. I have no issues with them. Next room, what's the next room? Yeah, so this is the hospital. This is room letter D. It's kind of similar to this one, look. Almost the same, same thing, but different. 
Oh, it's got a lot of stuff going on in here. So much stuff going on. It's crazy for such a small space of room. So let's see, you got here along the right hand side, like an air conditioning vent, a couple of lights. Not sure what those lights are supposed to represent. Got this cool little skeleton standing there. And you got all these little computer and gadgets. I like that quite a lot. And they're all printed again, but look, they're all different from each other, which is great. This is what I like to see. They're not repeating. They don't look old. They look fresh and clean. I like the x-ray too, the bone, the knee. That's pretty cool. You got some clipboard. You got so many things going on. You got dials and gadgets and, and you got all these the big hospital lights there. That's really cool. You got the IV thing that hangs down. You got this little desk thing that's kind of popped up there. I don't know why. Some tools on it. It's pretty cool, right? It's actually pretty interesting. I really, really like it. So let's look at the three minifigures. You got this one minifigure who's kind of like using this hose thing. I don't know what he's gonna do with that. Colonoscopy. The doctor with the injection is Thomas Wong. Thomas is actually my physiotherapist, so it makes sense that he's holding the injection and he's about to give me a shot. I guess that's me because I'm sick right now. Look at me. I'm so sick. Look at my face. I'm all like dark eyes and everything. This, the printing on these guys are actually pretty impressive. Very cool indeed. Dr. McBrick. There you go, man. You're on the... You're using that hose thing, about to do something with it. I, you know, I don't know what you're gonna do with it, but very cool. Okay, we're gonna go with this room. This is room F. Look at that. It's like a race car, car garage. Really awesome concept, really awesome idea. It's perfect, the size is just right. I do have to complain about the car a little bit. The car is kind of loose. Now, I don't know if the Speed Champion cars can fit inside. I know that series exists. Does it look like it can? Because maybe you can put your own car in there. I'm not, I'm not quite sure. But this car kind of falls apart. It's basically a display car. It's just for being in the set. And you know what? I'll, I'll try to pull it out for you and see if it rolls around and stuff. Look at this wall. It's great. You got a key here. They didn't have to put a key. I don't know why they put a key in there. Is there a reason for a key, really? Kind of like, looks like they just wanted to fill up as much as they could. I love these here. They put different size car tires along the wall. They didn't have to. They could have put like the same one. That'd be really boring. I love the little helmet up here and the clothing. They put a racing cloth here without the minifigure head. Genius, I like that kind of stuff. And then you got this shelf here, all the trophies. You got this flag, number seven flag. And underneath the clock here, you got the tools. And it's cool, you can move this minifigure out. He's got his own little tool, table, workstation thing here. Interesting, and a little briefcase down here. And we come to the car. Look at the car. It's got all these printings on here, by the way. Fire rail beyond the speed of light. Number six, number nine. Creative dream. Wild speed, wild speed. Now the funny thing is, on the front here of the, the race car, it was, the piece was actually melted off. I think it's still on there. Here we go, we're gonna pop off the car. There's the car. Okay, so it can roll around, like that's pretty cool. See just what just happened? Didn't last very long, did it? Not the greatest car to actually play with, but it, it, once it's inside in this room, it looks pretty good. Oh, can you see the melted piece here? Yeah, see this piece? It's melted! And you got two minifigures. Yeah, let's see who they are this time. MRC Cuber, you are the driver. That's your car. Check it out. I like your printing on the shirt. Zing bow, yeah. And you got your assistant there. Zerga, there you are with the tool. The coolest toolbox in the shed. Good, good set. I like it. Let's get down. We're going back down to the last two. The painter's room. Room A. Ooh, look at that. Yeah, you see why I'm liking it now? You see that? You see that? You see that? Okay, I'll come back to that in a second. So here we got a desk, you got a radio there, and you got like a couple like art stuff going on. You got some little minifigures and the little dinosaur statue on there. You got this painting on the very bottom of the desk, it's just cool, and these are all printed again. And nice little windows, small arch, and you know, you have a curtain kind of pushed to the side with a little plant there. It's cool, it's a small little touch, but hey, that's awesome. And then here you have a little chair with a cushion on it, and you got the first painter who's painting this. Looks kind of like a... Crazy Bob Ross drawing a flower pot there, and it looks like he's drawing the flower pot that's in front of him with the teacup there next to it. Really nice touch. Now we're coming to the part that I really, really super love. Look at that. You got another painter there painting this mosaic looking dinosaur. So good. I was putting it all together like, are they gonna actually like make a pattern out of this? If they do, that's awesome. Once I finish it and put the eye on, I'm like, oh, dinosaur. That is amazing, that is so cool. I really like this room. This is so good, very colorful, very artistic. Look at that. I don't have to say too much about it. They didn't cram it, which is great. It looks just, just right to me. I think this is a really, really perfect kind of room. The stand is actually pretty funny. The stand's made out of guns. So we got our two painters. Who are they? And what are they doing? Oliver Powell's, you are painting the flower there. Very nice. And the dinosaur, Katarzyna Nowak. I'm so sorry if I can't say that name right. Katarzyna 
no whack. Thank you so much for supporting and liking the channel. There you are, painting a beautiful dinosaur along the wall. That is so awesome. Okay, last room, this is room E. This is my favorite room for obvious reasons. It's so out there, it's so awesome. Here it is. Yes, look at that. It's like a space station. This is so cool. It's got so much imagination inside of it. I love it, this is really genius. Look at some of the things that are going on, huh? First of all, here, along the top, you got like some crazy looking satellite. I really like that satellite there. You got two satellites here. And this is by far the coolest thing ever. They put a transparent pole there and an astronaut taking a photo. Look, he's like totally floating in space. That's so cool. I love that illusion. That's like, it's so amazing. That's, I think that's why I love this room so much. And you got two more astronauts here. You got this guy. He's looking through this telescope. You got a big gaping hole, which is nothing wrong with that. He's using this telescope to look at you guys. And then you got this crazy looking chair here. I think the chair is the only thing I'm not, not feeling up for this room because I'm not quite sure what he's doing. Maybe it's a simulation chair, but I love the telescope. I love the floating astronaut and I love these things on the back wall here. These are just like control panel here. You got a lot of new printed signs I haven't seen before. Stars and galaxy stuff and radar looking things, meteorite looking things. And look, they use kind of like a see-through tile there, water tile, I guess like that glass. I'm not quite sure what this thing is on the back here. Maybe like where you're supposed to put your suit and it hangs up. Look, I think it's just a floating spaceman. I think because I like that floating guy. I love this one so much. And you got the flag of China there. You can probably switch to your flag of your choice, of your country. But there you guys go. So we got three astronauts. Let's see who they are. So we got Mark James Capacion taking a photo in the sky. Rick D looking through the telescope. There you are. And we got Chris Neal chilling on the chair. Thank you for loving the videos. I'll get you guys more. So I'm gonna wrap this up so I can get back to editing for you guys. Go home, take a little break so I can get some sleep and rest well. And anything else I need to say about the set? Oh yes, there is something very different. Did you notice the minifigures look kind of different? The feet are different this time, but we've kind of seen that in other sets, other brands, but they actually designed the arms really different. It is trickier at first, but I kind of, kind of got used to it. He can kind of wave, he can move his arm out. Be like, yo, yo. So the arm actually has its two pieces now. One piece is so, so small. Look how small this is. You're bound to lose it. But look, it's like super tiny. You gotta like click it into here and then push it in. But now you can like rotate the arm, wave high and by, all that kind of stuff. Was that necessary? Did they make changes because of patent problems? I'm not quite sure. Still pretty cool. I had no problems with it. You gotta be really careful. That's a really, really small piece. All right, you guys. There you go, Zing Bao's Dreamers Room Home Furnishing 2. Go out and get yours, buy it. Buy it from wherever you like to buy it from, and I'll catch you guys later. Until next time, break me out. I don't know how to break myself out in this one. Next one, where's the best, where's the best, where's the best? I like, oh, oh, oh. Okay, this one, gotta sneeze one more time. Stop, this <laughs> shit. All over. All over the. The other! Woo! Oh, that one hurt my throat, man. Well, at least you guys are clean. Thank you guys so much for liking this channel. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We'll bring you more. I promise you. So thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys later. Bye bye now.